We are officially into 2022, and if you happen to be a professional florist, or maybe you are in the process of just getting started creating a brand new flower business of some sort now in 2022, creating a successful business now online, because that's where the majority of business is happening these days, is a crazy thing to be working on. And if you didn't feel like you were up to speed over the last couple of years, or maybe you just sort of felt like you were flying by the seat of your pants, I've got some new tips for you to help hopefully smooth things out in that regard and make things a little easier in 2022 and in years ahead. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Frank, back with another video for you today helping you create your successful florist business. And like I was mentioning, the last couple of years within the floral industry and just business in general, things have been rather nuts. And the way business has been developing is happening now faster than ever before. Trying to keep up on all of those trends when it comes to promoting what you do and the services and products that you offer, marketing your business is happening faster now than ever before. Now, we all know that the vast majority of business is happening online. For the most part, because of the pandemic, more and more people have already shifted gears in how they go about purchasing products and services that we normally used to do by means of physically going to a store to get those items. Now it's happening more online than ever before. And the way we consume that content and how we learn about the products and services that we're wanting for whatever reason, video content by far is becoming the means of communicating with your potential customers and clientele. Now, if you've been in business for a while, or if you're even in the process of starting a new business, you have probably heard the term content marketing or content creation for content marketing. What is that and how does it affect your overall marketing scheme? Well, in a really short nutshell description of what content marketing is, what you are working on is creating content for your business to market a specific product or service, or for professional florists, for us in this case, it might be a specific season that we generally do a lot of business, or we might get a new product in our business that we want to promote and get the word out to those people who might be interested. Content marketing is really the best means of getting that information out. It is creating a body of work, a body of content, whether it's still photo images or video content that you can then utilize on multiple different platforms to get your message out to your customers and clientele. Content marketing for professional florists and flower businesses, no matter what kind of a business model you are creating or working with, content marketing is really kind of a big deal when it comes to marketing and something that every small business really needs to work on educating yourself and leveling up your skills to learn how it all works. Being able to create content that you can utilize on multiple platforms is essential. Your website for your business is just one aspect of your overall marketing strategy for your business. 
in addition to your website, you have all of your social media profiles that are other avenues that you can utilize to market and promote your business and the products and services that you sell. In addition to that, you've got email marketing and paid advertising. All of that combined should be a part of your marketing strategy. However, it's really important not to spread yourself too thin. This is where it's really important to make sure that you can determine where your target market hangs out the most. Who is it that you want to work with and have as customers and clientele for your business. If you are on platforms trying to do things to promote your business, but your target market and demographic that you want to work with just doesn't hang out there, you're going to be wasting a lot of time and effort on something that's not really going to get you a whole lot in return. So, Focusing your efforts on the platforms where you know the bulk of your demographic, that is your target market is hanging out, is really important. Once you can determine that, creating content for them that is engaging and generates action is vital if you're going to get your marketing strategy to actually work. Whether it's still images that you are utilizing or you're creating video content or a combination of all of it, it's really going to help if you can hone that into content that, number one, gets the attention of your target demographic and it also has a call to action to get those people to actually do what you're wanting them to do, whether it's call you or send you an email inquiry about a product or service or to place an order for something specific on your website. I frequently see flower businesses that when it comes to their social media presence, they have profiles on different platforms and they're posting images of things, but they aren't really creating content that engages the people that see those images. Just posting a photo image of something probably isn't going to get much of a reaction from the people that you want to have as customers and clientele. This is where on social media, you've got to make sure that you are verbally telling them exactly what you want them to do. If it's with still images, this is where digital text content comes in. And if you really want things to happen quickly, the fastest way to get it to happen now more than ever is with video content. In fact, Every platform that you happen to be on with your business, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, your Google business profile, Pinterest, if you happen to be on TikTok, any other platform, video content, and these, all of these separate platforms are actually telling us now that in order to get our content to more people to see, they are giving preference to video content. So the more you can focus on what they're actually asking you to do is going to be to your benefit. So when it comes to video content, that's really going to be key for something that you really want to focus quite a bit on with your overall marketing strategy. And video content can be done in several different ways. If you are nervous about being on camera, you don't necessarily need to be on camera. It's possible that you can be have somebody else be the face of your company, or you don't even necessarily need to have a specific representative as a face 
for your business. You can create video content that you weren't in at all. Maybe you just do a voiceover on that video content. That can really be all you necessarily need to create good video content that engages and gets your potential customers and clientele to actually act on whatever you are asking them to do. Live stream video content, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, I would say for most professional florists, those are probably gonna be your two top platforms for your business, for your clientele, to reach the people in your immediate local area. If you're on TikTok, that's great. But video content on all of these different platforms is really a fast way of getting things to happen quickly and efficiently with the, less, the least amount of time and effort that you need to put into it. It's really about being authentic and in the moment and just giving people the information that you want them to have. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to get and the more comfortable you're going to get with being able to produce it quickly and easily. So this year in 2022, if you do happen to be a professional florist of any kind, if you are a floral designer working for somebody else, or you have a brick and mortar flower shop, or you have an e-commerce based florist business or flower service, these are all tips that you really want to focus on in 2022 and moving ahead into the future. Video content really is how the majority of people online are consuming content and getting the information that they're searching for. So in order to get the benefit from that, we need to make sure that we are embracing all of those techniques to market our small businesses online. So now, if these are things that you're really trying to educate yourself about and be able to level up your skills with creating marketing strategies and optimizing your overall digital footprint for your business, I've got some other videos over here in the end screen that you might want to check out next. In addition to that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you might want to do that and hit that bell icon down below so that you don't miss any notifications when I upload new content for you. Being a person who works in the floral industry every day, and that means for me, I also work in a flower shop on a weekly basis. So creating content for you, I try my hardest to create new content for you with helpful tips and information on a weekly basis. Sometimes though, it gets a little more spread out, especially around major holidays. But that said, I'm here for you and I've got a lot of other video content that you might want to check out next to help you level up your successful flower business. So until I see you in the next video, be well everybody and be practicing those video skills for your small business. We'll see you soon.